Hello? Scrapped myself in five dates. Um, yes, the first date, I was 12 years old. And that was the day that I first started DJing. Um, it was in the summer of 1974. And that's when I realized that I truly was um, musically inclined and, and meant to do music. Um, second date was when I almost drowned uh, as a child. I was about 14 years old, 13 or 14. And in that moment, I realized the value of life by nearly dying. The third date would be when French Kiss, when I first played French Kiss, I was at this club called Medusa's in 1987. And a response that I got, it was so loud, I couldn't hear the music anymore. I knew then that something special had occurred and that I had cracked the next level of artistry. Fourth date is when my daughter was born. Um, in that moment, I realized that the purpose of life transcended me and what I thought was uh, relevant. And date number five would be when my mother uh, told me that I was now the leader of my family. I, I took that with uh, honor because I honor her as the greatest woman I've ever known. <laughs> I love you too, Yellow. How are you? <laughs> no, thank you. I um, I appreciate it though. What does the 2009 Little Lewis album look like? DJ Gregory. <laughs> What's up, Gregory? Um, it is different from the, the second album. I think it is the best work I've ever done in my life. Um, it is classical, and by definition, more so than jazz, because I took a lot of classical training during my hiatus. Um, it's, I think, a little bit more feminine, uh, you'll understand why when you when you pick it up um, and it definitely has um, a real serious dynamic on love um, so I, I can't wait because it is absolutely the greatest thing I've ever done that in the book did you write this book naked as you are in the cover and if so why yes I absolutely wrote it uh, extremely naked and vulnerable and the, the cover came because of the pledge I made to myself when I decided to write the book. Looking through my diaries, I knew um, that because of my relationships with a lot of people in the industry, particularly, you know, some of the more um, macho guys and, and, you know, just looking at it from a traditional male perspective, I knew that, you know, there were a lot of people that would laugh at some of the things that I've gone through in relationships, some of the people that would disagree uh, with some of the things that I'm writing about in reference to me just sharing the, the truth and, and um, you know, getting rid of all the taboos. Um, it was very, very, very difficult, the most difficult thing I've ever done as a, an artist. But I also feel that it's the most rewarding thing because now there's simply nothing to hide. Um, so, great question, Louie. Hell yeah! <laughs> is the Lutu project still going on? Of course it is. 
you and I have so much more work to do, my brother. believe in reincarnation who do you want to be in your next life i do believe in reincarnation and i would want to be a better me and the final word is love <laughs>